We've only just begun. Hey everybody, it's Patrick Healy and this is Be Positive, the world's worst blog with the best of intentions. Today I want to talk to you about something very important. As always, what I'm talking to you about is something that I am talking to myself about and something that I'm working on myself, and that is planning for failure. You need to plan for failure. Patrick, you son of a bitch! Why would you be so defeatist? Why would you say something so horrible to me? First of all, back off, pal. Second, you never really know what's gonna happen. And first of all, if, if you're not taking chances in life, if you're not in a succeed, fail scenario right now, you should actively engage one. Because anytime you have the possibility for success, you have the possibility for failure. And if you don't have the possibility of success, you're stagnant. What are you doing? So first, put yourself in a situation where you can succeed. And then second, plan to fail. This is why that is not uh, defeatist. Sorry so much about the traffic. I just kind of record where I have the time. If you know me, I work full time. I've got a I've got a nine and a half year old little girl. I record when I have the time, so please forgive the car setting. Right now I'm running a Kickstarter. You probably maybe know about it. Um, this is this is not promoting the Kickstarter. This is to talk about what I'm looking at right now. I have uh, a four hundred and fifty dollar goal that conceivably I could make very easily. But if I don't take enough action or if things don't go the right way, I won't make that. Um, that's scary for me. First of all, that's very normal to be afraid. You kind of have to accept that. And, and fear, I think, is a big reason why we don't plan for failure because we don't want to think about failure. And not wanting to think about failure is often why we don't try. But in failure, there remains opportunity. Right now, I'm trying to get a pin made. What happens if I don't get a single uh, additional backer? I have five people who are backing me. I am 30% away from my goal. What happens if over the next 12 days, not a single additional person says, hey, I went in on that? Well, then I failed. But I remain actively engaged with the people who have backed me. Uh, I give them a special code with a uh, discount to my online store. I thank them personally and sincerely. And when I get this pin made, and it will happen sooner or later, it just might take longer or, or uh, take more work, I'm gonna send it to them. Because you need to show people that when they act on um, faith that you'll deliver that no matter what, you're gonna be there. That, I think, is uh, an extension of who we should be as people, but if you want to be an artist, you really do need to have people trust you. Things will take longer to get done. In that scenario, um, my, my plans don't necessarily come to fruition, but I think that it will be better because people will know that I'm engaging them because I appreciate them, and when you do that, I think you create a better community. Now, that's why I think my plan works. And every scenario has different failures which would necessitate different follow-up actions. Your plan for failure is probably very different than mine, but what you need to remember is that a plan for failure isn't defeatist, and it's not quitting, it is maximizing your opportunities to succeed. Because in that scenario, no matter what happens, you know how to pursue what you want to see happen. You can't always control whether you win or lose, but you can control how you respond to those scenarios. First of all, like I said, put yourself in a position to win or lose. Whatever you're doing right now, whether you're um, submitting a script or running a, a campaign or even looking for feedback from somebody. Ha! Random second location. <laughs> when I say world's worst blog, I mean it. <laughs> so to pick up where I left off and then plan for what you will do when that doesn't work out. Because honestly, your opportunities to excel and be great are all around you. And you really just need to put yourself in the best situation possible. Okay, I am sweating and uh, you probably didn't need to know that part. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go back to work. Uh, and eat 
because I, I haven't really eaten. But um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. There's going to be a little picture of my face, assuming that you do this in the near future, not the distant future, in which I've changed this image. And um, comment and share and do whatever. Tell me your favorite thing about your day or do, do whatever you want. I mean, honestly, if you're watching this, that's, that's all I care about. That means a lot to me. Uh, yeah. See you soon. Uh, I've got two people coming up and staring at me, which it's okay to think that that's odd. It's okay for me to be uncomfortable by people thinking I'm on, but they didn't turn around to check to see if I was crazy. That's so flattering.